I'll show you how to create a custom email account, link it with Gmail, send and receive emails, all completely free without even having a web hosting account. The only thing you need for this to work is a domain name. If you don't have one already, just visit Hostinger and grab one for like $8 a year because free domain names do not work with this method. And anyways, having a .com one boosts your credibility by a lot and your emails will not end up in spam as often. Once you have a domain name ready, head on over to cloudflare.com and create a free account by clicking here. I've already created mine before I started recording. Once you have your Cloudflare account ready, click on add site and type in your domain name. Choose the free option at the bottom here and wait for Cloudflare to do a quick DNS scan. After it's done, you can click on continue without making any changes here. You will be shown two name servers that you need to update. To do this, access your domain name control panel. Since I bought mine on Hostinger, all I need to do is click on my domain name, then DNS slash name servers and click on change name servers. Depending on where you bought your domain name, this process might be different. But in general, the process is the same. You just need to switch these two name server values with the ones Cloudflare gave you and click on save. Now it will take some time for these changes to take effect. It's not instant, but in my experience, it takes anywhere from 10 minutes to one hour at the most. You can check if the changes have already taken effect by simply clicking on done check name servers on Cloudflare. And if you don't see any confirmation, just refresh the Cloudflare page once every five minutes or so, and you should see this green check mark <laughs> eventually. And once we have been graced by the green check mark, that means that Cloudflare is linked to our domain name. So let's get the emails working. Click on email, then get started. Think of the custom email address you want to use. For example, I'm going with info at emitemail.com and I'm linking this to my personal Gmail account. So after creating the custom email, you'll need to log into that Gmail account and confirm it. This means that every single email that gets sent to the custom one that I've just created will end up in this Gmail account. And after confirmation, you'll see this large scary screen, but don't worry, the steps you need to take are actually quite simple. Currently, there are Hostinger email records associated with this domain. So I'll need to delete these pre-existing records before adding in the Cloudflare ones. This information might be different depending on where you bought your domain name. But the method to delete this information is the same. To do so, just open up the DNS records in a separate tab and find the existing MX records. Again, it doesn't matter what the text says, as long as they're MX records, they need to be deleted out of here. I'll also delete this TXT record with the SPF values. You should do the same. Now I'll create a new MX record using the information that Cloudflare provided. I'll need to do this three times in total. So to get started, just click on add record. For the type, choose MX. For the name, you can use the add symbol. This lets Cloudflare to use the default value. And finally, you just paste in the value together with the priority and do this for the next three records. Once that's done, you also need to create the one text record with the SPF values. Again, for the name use at, and for the content, paste in what Cloudflare asks you. Okay, at this point, you should already be able to receive emails into your custom email box. In my case, everyone that sends emails to info at emitemail.com will actually get rerouted to my personal Gmail account. The problem is I can't respond using the same professional email address and I still have to default to my Gmail one. So I'll show you how to start sending emails from your professional email address as well, completely free of charge. But honestly, the best, fastest, and the most efficient way would be to grab a cheap web hosting plan with built-in email capabilities. For example, you can get a web hosting plan from Hostinger for just $30 for the whole year, on top of providing 100 custom email accounts that you can use yourself or give to your employees, you'll be able to host a website as well. You can also get some really neat features like email autoresponders, forwarding, or just plain custom logins for each of the email boxes. If you have multiple employees, this is a lifesaver. 
So use the link in the description with the code Emmet Reviews for an exclusive 10% discount if you do decide to go this route. Here, it literally takes two seconds to create any email you want and it works right away, no extra steps are needed. But if you don't need to host a website, you just want the email box and you want for it to be free, I recommend going over to Sendinblue and creating a free account. You'll get an email verification after signing up and then you'll need to add your company credentials. I'm not sure how real these need to be. But at least for the final step, type in a real phone number because you'll need a phone verification for this to work. A text message should arrive within 10 minutes, so just type in the code you received and then you should be done. Once verified, choose the free $0 plan, then click on your profile name up top and choose the senders and IP option. Navigate to domains and click on add a domain. Type in your website name. For me, again, it is emmetemail.com. Now you'll get some values you need to add to your DNS. So go back to Cloudflare and navigate to the DNS records. Click on add record. For the type, you'll need to choose TXT. Then the name again is just the add symbol and the value needs to be pasted it from send in blue. Do the exact same thing with the other record as well. The only difference here is that both name and the value needs to be pasted in from send in blue. You can't use at as the name anymore. Now, don't be scared if you get an error while authenticated, it might take a little while. You can simply click on I'll do it later and after a few minutes, go back and authenticate again. Everything should work a-okay. Once this domain is authenticated, we need to set up our SMTP server. So go back and click on SMTP and API. Then at the top, click on generate a new SMTP key, name it whatever you want. Make sure to copy it and save it somewhere safe, like Notepad. You'll need this for later. After you saved it, awesome. Let's connect everything together. So go back to Gmail, click on settings, and then see all settings. Navigate to accounts and import and click on add another email address. Here, type in the name you want for people to see when you send them emails and your custom email address. Leave the treat as an alias checked and now you'll need to paste in the SMTP server from Sendinblue. The login is also shown on your Sendinblue dashboard and the password is the key you generated and hopefully saved earlier. If everything went smoothly, you'll now see this verification screen. So just navigate to your Gmail account and paste in the code you've just received. And that's it. You're now able to send and receive emails using your Gmail account, but having a professional name attached to it instead. So this works, but it's quite a lot of work for each individual email box that you might need. That's why I always recommend using built-in email capabilities into your web hosting plan. And if you already have a domain name, that probably means you want to build a brand. So why not go all the way and have your emails, your brand and your website all in one bundle. That's like $30 a year. You're going to look more professional. You're going to save some time. And if you decide to scale, it's just going to be easier that way. So if you want some cheap web hosting recommendations that I used and I recommend you use as well, you can watch this video next. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.